Welcome to this basic Zoom MS70 CDR tutorial. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shoutout goes to Don Smith. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. I've had my Zoom MS70 CDR for two days now, and my initial unboxing did not go very well. If you've watched that, I stumbled around. I couldn't really figure out where I was going or how to get to different effects or what was really going on. Right after that video, I went online and searched for a tutorial, just a simple one, and I couldn't really find anything, so I decided to make my own. Now, this is going to be a very basic tutorial. Its only intention is to get you using the effects and understanding the basic navigation of the pedal. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your output, your uh, either audio interface or speakers or amp or whatever. As you see here, I've got two outputs coming out of the MS-70. That's because uh, we do have stereo out. If you're only using one though, you'll want to go uh, through the left channel where it says mono, but I'm going stereo, so I'm going to go left and right. Same thing with the inputs here on the right hand side. If you're going stereo in, you'll want to use both the left and the right. But because I'm just using the Arturia Microfreak here with its uh, mono output, I'm just going to be going into the mono left in. As you'll see, that also powers on the pedal. You can use either a pair of AA batteries, which is what I'm using to power the pedal, or you can plug in a wall adapter and power it that way. Now that we're in the pedal, we want to go ahead and start using some effects. So let's go ahead and click the middle button in right here. That's gonna take us to a list of preset effects chains. We can scroll through that list by turning the middle knob, and when we see one that we like the name of, we can go ahead and click that knob in. Let's go ahead and load number 30, GT Strings. Okay, so let's uh, select it and then click the knob. Okay, we have now loaded preset chain number 30, GT Strings. We can already hear there are some effects uh, affecting the Microfreak, so uh, yay, we've got some uh, good sounds coming through it already. Now this, like I mentioned, is an effects chain. An effects chain can hold up to six different effects within it. The way we scroll through the chain is with these left and right buttons here on either side of the uh, main uh, button. We can see the number, too. So from right to left, here's number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five, and looks like we don't have a six on this one. So we've got five effects here, okay? Think of these as individual effects pedals in a effects chain like on a guitarist pedal board. We can toggle each individual effect on and off by simply scrolling to it and then clicking the main button here. So let's turn off this stereo chorus. Turn it back on. Pretty simple. If we want to change the parameters of an effect, it's as easy as using the three knobs up here. If I turn one, I can see we've got depth here on knob one, rate on knob two, and mix on knob three. Now, if you look down in the bottom right corner of the screen, it says page. That means if I click down on the right hand knob here, I'll actually get to a second, and on some effects, even a third page of different parameters. We can see here we've got tone and level. If I click the middle knob in, we will exit back to the main screen. Let's go ahead and click in the left knob now to get to a menu with two very important settings. We've got Delete Effect Unit and Effect Chain. For this menu, we'll use the left knob to scroll up and down and click it in to select an option. Clicking in the middle knob will exit the menu. So the first option here is Delete Effect Unit. What that will do if we select it is delete the current effect out of the current effect chain. Very handy if you want to get rid of something from your chain. If we scroll down to Effect Chain, we have the option to actually rearrange the chain of the effects that we have selected. So whatever effect is in the middle, if we click in the leftmost knob, it'll pull it up, and then we can scroll with that knob and put it in a different place. So very, very handy playing around with chains and placement of your individual effects and seeing how things uh, change sound-wise. To put it back down, simply click in the leftmost knob again. Clicking in the middle knob will exit back to this menu. Clicking it in again will exit back to uh, the main one, the main screen. 
So now you know how to scroll between your different effects in your chain and how to rearrange those effects and how to play with the parameters. What if you want to change an effect entirely? Well, you can either go up or down, which will scroll to different effects in that category, or you can long press on the up button here, and that'll take you to this menu where you can select a category of effect for uh, easier jumping around, you know, the entire list of effects to select from. In this menu, these four buttons around the main knob here will allow you to scroll uh, to the different, uh, or select the different uh, categories, and then clicking in the main button here will actually select that category. From here, you simply use up or down to scroll through the different effects. As you can see, here are all of our reverbs. Awesome. Now, if you've made enough changes that you want to save this effects chain, simply click on the middle knob to bring up that same menu that we went to right at the beginning. Now, use the second knob to scroll all the way down here to where it says empty. You'll notice we've got quite a few user slots here that are all empty. Once you've reached an empty slot, you can simply click in the left knob to store, and then it will prompt you to name your uh, new chain. You can use the left knob to select uh, the character slot and the right knob to select the character. I'm gonna click in the middle knob to exit though because I don't wanna save this. Now, what if you want to start from scratch? Well, it's also very simple. Click in that middle knob again to get to that same list, scroll to an empty slot, and click the middle knob, which says exit, that will actually load that uh, chain in. Now we're on a completely brand new and empty chain. Now, how do we add a new effect? Well, we need to either long press left or right, depending on which side we want to put the uh, effect on. So I'll long press left, and now I can add effect unit. I'm gonna go reverb. Let's uh, start with the basic hall reverb, sure. We can play with our uh, parameters. Okay, I can once again click middle to exit. Now I want to add another effect, uh, but I want it to be to the right of this reverb, so I'm gonna long press on the right button here. And once again, there we go. Let's go and add a delay. And we'll just stick with the uh, simple delay here. A lot of feedback, just so we can hear it. And just like before, we can still turn that effect off by clicking in the uh, main button there. Now we've got our different effects that we can scroll between here, just like before. And everything else that I've taught you in the video basically applies to where we are now. We're just in an effects chain. You can still switch your individual effects by pushing up or down. Let's uh, crank these parameters and see what we can get out of the Micro Freak. And there you have it. Now I know I missed a lot about this pedal. There is a ton of depth here and uh, just a, a wealth of options available to you uh, with the MS-70 CDR, but I just wanted there to be a very, very simple uh, and hopefully easy to follow tutorial out there just to get you started with the extreme basics. So I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too, doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.